don't skip any part of the video watch it from the beginning till the end so you don't miss any of the tips all right hello guys how you doing this is your friend alex and today i want to show you what happened with an iphone that you cannot unlock for free on the at&t portal i do have the iphone x and this iphone is locked for at&t let me just show you really quick what happened when you put a sim card that is not from at&t uh, mint mobile using the t-mobile network let's see what happened activation required software update complete it may take a few minutes to activate your iphone and it says sim not supported i'm gonna try again sim not supported that means that this phone is locked to a company In this case is locked to at&t let me just put a sim from at&t and you will see that you will not see that message you can see here carrier at&t 50 and the phone is fine look at this guys if you go to general about carrier lock it says sim lock this device might be restricted to the original carrier and or have certain capabilities limited contact your provider for more information so that's new from ios 15 you can now see the carrier lock here on the about menu i'm gonna try to unlock this phone for free using the at&t portal let me just first get the imei okay and also i'm gonna print screen this i'm gonna print screen this so we can have it right there now we need to go to the AT&T portal. We're going to type here AT&T unlock and the not not the first because the first is an at, but right here AT&T device unlock. So click here and you need to read this unlock your device and here it is guys. Unlock your device. Click there. Do you have a mobile number from AT&T? I'm going to put no. IMEI number. Let's see if we can paste it and we are not able to paste. You cannot paste it. All right, so we're gonna need to memorize it. We have it here. I save it here. So the number is three five four eight five five zero nine five five zero nine six one four ten seventy one six one four ten seventy nine. And you can see that immediately the portal recognized the phone as the iPhone X A one eight six five. Now select I'm not a bot. verify the google thing click here on i read the legal info and then click next now it's going to ask me for my information you don't need to put the mobile number i'm going to put my email here and i'm going to click submit unlock your device it says thanks we got your request this is the request number and what happened is they sent an email to my email address and i need to click on that link to confirm that the device is unlocked so i need to do that at 10 7 a.m i got this email that is asking me to confirm my request so you have to click here on confirm and now it says thanks for confirming now i just have to wait if you go back to the email there's a link called check the status so click here also and you can see current status pending really soon i'm gonna know if they approve or if they deny the unlock i already tried this before and the answer was this we can approve your unlock request so this video is actually about this looks like there is an unpay balance linked to your device so we can unlock it so my suggestion is if you cannot return the device or if you cannot sell it try every week to unlock your device for free in the past, I was lucky a couple of times after months of waiting. I just wanted to say, guys, that if they deny your request, there's still uh, another way to unlock these devices. And in this case, this is a GV SIM card. Well, actually, it's like a sandwich. You put the SIM card in between. These are really delicate, so they ended up being broke like this. That's another way you can do it. The GV Pro, the RSIM, there are different brands. They have the same result. They will carry or unlock your iPhone that's an unlock that i don't like that much but if they don't approve this unlock from at t then i'm forced to use this kind of stuff now you can do it also by software and i have videos about a software that can do this but you need to be on ios 14 or below specifically this iphone x you can unlock with the software but only if the ios is 14 or less there's an unpay balance linked to your device 
they don't give you a, a way to pay that and pay balance. Maybe just a hundred bucks and maybe it's worth it to pay it. But you need to have an AT&T account to log in and check the balance. So if you don't have any account, there's no way for you to access the original account and pay the balance. I think that's a little bit messed up by AT&T because they do not allow us to pay the balance so we can have the iPhone unlock. They will make money and we will be happy. But by keeping the device like this is forcing us to use the AT&T network with AT&T or with Cricket or any other company like H2O, any other company that uses the AT&T network, you can use this device. I think the main message on this video is that not all iPhones qualify to be unlocked for free on the AT&T portal. But if your iPhone doesn't qualify, you still have options to unlock it with the GV Pro, with the RSIM, with software and with other SIM cards that you can put. Let me know in the comments if this is your case. Let me know what are you using to unlock your device. And I think that's it for now, guys. I'm going to check one more time so this is still pending this pending can be three days can be a week can be months i have cases that this pending takes a while so that's up to you now if you want to call at&t you can call them too you can call them and request your device to be unlocked on the phone they can do this you will have more chances to get your device unlocked but as you can see here it's still pending well guys uh thank you so much for watching this video this is your friend Alex. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.